Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Carolina Panthers. With that, let's get up to Charlotte. Standing by our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New England Patriots and the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. They already have as many wins in the second half as they did in the first half, and we're just starting the second half at number zero. And I know some of their fans are already starting to look forward to the draft, but I still think this team has a chance to win some games down the stretch. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they come into this one knowing it's been a while since tasting victory. They've dropped four in a row. Can they remember what it was like to win a game? In these types of situations, you're looking for someone to inspire you, and it doesn't have to be one of your best players either. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. This fielded a few yards into the end zone, and Let's no go. run back Let's here. Let's this go. will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top, he's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. This offensive line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. The third down run gets them nothing. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On play action, Prescott. And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. And now we take a peek at the Patriot offense. And they come off a tough loss last week. And what's their reward? A second straight road game. Rarely are teams happy about scheduling. They're always calling the league office saying, how come we have this game and that game? But when you're coming off of a loss on the road and you go right into another one, that's a difficult task. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Prescott on first down. He's got Mason complete. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. 
They've been very good against the pass so far this year. Number four in the NFL right now. Yeah, defending the pass hasn't been an issue for them. It's been stopping the run. And if they don't stop the run, they can't get back to their strength, which is guarding against the air attack. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Off the draw, here's Michelle. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Prescott from the gun on third. Got his man, that's Harry. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Off the play fake, Prescott. On the crossing route, complete. It's Morgan. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. That one goes for 30 yards. Prescott to throw it. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Nikhil Harry, his second touchdown on the season as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. The losing streak had taken on a life of its own, and I think it infiltrates a team when you're on that much of a slide. But this group has managed to focus, come out early, and put a touchdown on the board. They, they look like they mean business in this one. They do now the key holding on to that attitude because, man, that streak has been a struggle for them. Extra point by McCrane, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, McCrane set to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that, that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll drop the throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Second and 10. He's going to look deep for more. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and 10. They're going to look to throw. And this is caught by Jackson. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. Back to throw here. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Last play, they went over 20 yards. This time, they topped 30. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. <laughs> They'll try to run with McCaffrey. Check and the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Second and four. And incomplete. 
He was waving his arms, won the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass and you blew coverage on, what did you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? An update from down in Tampa. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Got a man open. That's Harry. Catch number 40 for him on the year. It's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. first down a gain of 12. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play because guess what the guy catching the ball he'll get all the credit but how about the people have to block in front of him either fellow receivers or offensive linemen that makes that play a really nice timing play and sometimes it can break big. So here's a first and 10 at the 38 <laughs> to throw his press gun. under a heavy rush and down he goes. Credit the sack to Malik Jefferson. You know darn well both of these teams reviewed the film and saw that this defense had five sacks last week. They got to keep their QB upright. And they're going to try their best to do exactly that. But they're facing a team where getting to the quarterback is a mindset. It's a mantra for them. And they play a game within the game. And you know what it is? Let's race to the quarterback and see who gets there first. Now Prescott, and that is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. After the made field goal, here's McCrane back out there to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point yeah, kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him with contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him with contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> so <laughs> this is McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Second and five. 
Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it out to Let's midfield. Go. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Seven yards there and a first down. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Five catches, 93 yards. And I get the feeling that he loves this matchup. I mean, the unit he's going against is in the bottom half of the league against the pass. He had to have circled this one on the schedule and said to himself, this should be a big game. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. 10-3 our score after one here on EA Sports. Go now. 30 base. Run the mic. Watch one. Watch one. He don't know no better. He's tripping. He's tripping. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to fire one deep over them. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Well, they had gone run the previous play. Nice little setup. This time they go play action. Defense bites a bit, and they hit for a big play in the end zone. So they sold it really well, didn't they? Because of just what you described, they ran at the previous play, come back with the same action, and now they step back and throw it and get a big play for a touchdown. But what happens as a defensive back is your eyes have to go to the right place. You always hear Coach talk about, are your eyes in the right spot? But this time, the eyes went to the play action. It froze their feet. They weren't moving, and he went on past them and caught the pass for a touchdown. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, Let's call go. it the 21-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now Sanders. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. On second down, Michelle. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two yard gain. New England on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and eight. It's caught by Sanders. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. The Patriots send out their punter. Christian McCaffrey deep for Carolina. Now last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Come 
This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. It's caught by Jackson. And he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. This is taken at the 15. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 Let's yards go. on the punt. And the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. On second down, Michelle, and he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. On third down, it's Prescott. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Great coverage there. Holds him to a two-yard return following a 50-yard punt. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. On second down now, it's Hubbard, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for a while. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And they'll take this one for about four up to the 40. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now Prescott. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, 
Couldn't turn it into much more. A big gain of 31 on third down. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On the ground, Michelle, and taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Throwing on second and eight, Prescott. The linebacker Preston Brown there to knock that one away. New England on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. McCrane's kick is good, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Christian McCaffrey and the Panthers about set to go on offense. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, well, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. And he's got his target. That's more. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 11 yards and a Panther first down. And another thing that makes a comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. Nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore. That'll bring up second down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. A gain of six there on first. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him, and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll look to throw here. And he rifles one incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. And that's incomplete. He 
certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And that's going to tie us at 13. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. All square now at 13-all as he sends this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Prescott from the gun. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First down, Prescott. Well, that's complete to Sanders. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Here's Prescott. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from 48. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Time here for likely one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play caller's just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one. A big <laughs> shot down. Nope, nope, nope. Guarantee the head coach is like, don't get crazy. Take the knee. Let's get out of here. Tie game. We'll just start all over. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So that P.I. call will give them one more play. And it'll be an untimed play as well. Now the half will end after this one, unless there's another there's defensive one. penalty. So it's halftime here in Charlotte with the Panthers out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. 
sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Prescott from the gun on third. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Morgan. And he's got the first got down this. yardage before being taken down at midfield. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run it. This is Michelle. They find some open field here. Taking it right down Broadway. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Sony Michelle, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And once again, the Patriots are back out in front. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Extra point by McCrane, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Following the touchdown, McCrane set to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Panthers' offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Back to throw here. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots' D on third down. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. For a rookie first rounder, he's made a huge impact on this defense, but that tells me that they had a plan for him when they drafted him. Just turn him loose, do what you do best, go get the quarterback. Polardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Patriots to take over. They've dropped four straight games coming into this one, remember, but they have the lead here. Everybody, 
They began with Michelle on the ground. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Prescott. Oh, Prescott stripped. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And he will bring it back to the four-yard line. Hey, whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery? Everyone's into taking it the other way and trying to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are. And now a terrific opportunity inside the five. Carolina getting set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the four yard line. Second and goal. Second and four. His pass caught at the four. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Hayden Hurst, his second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers are once again going to retake the lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And that one gives him a three-point lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the five. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. On the draw, here's Sanders. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. Looking to throw. Prescott. Running lanes were at a premium in the front. And the ball is knocked out. And it's picked up by the Panthers. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. So here are the Panthers set to take over. It's no secret they have been struggling big time. They've gone two months without a win, eight straight losses. But right now, they do have the lead. 90 Wolf. 54. Hey, defense. Hey, 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, a long touchdown pass into the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one taken just inside the 10. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Let's go. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, and pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that? Bad taste out of their mouth here. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. Throw it. Prescott. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Prescott now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. To throw is Prescott. He's got Mason complete. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Off the play fake, Prescott. That's to his running back, Sony Michel. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards the pick up, first down. A first down throw for Prescott. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Oh, he tried to pitch it, and the ball's loose. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Prescott. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. That was a nice catch, but unable to stay in bounds. And remember, it wasn't a wide receiver who works on that all the time. I was going to say, he, he likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong, he's part of the passing game as well, but maybe a little out of his comfort zone there. Yeah, he might want to have a few words to say to us about that later, but I am still going with you on that one. Wide receivers work on it a little bit more. Following the penalty, Michelle. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. On second down, it's Sanders. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one.
so they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. New England on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. They're up against a third and one situation. This is caught, and he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Defense was expecting run, and they're dealt a pass of over 15 yards. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. Get and this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. A one-yard touchdown reception as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. First and goal, forget running the football, forget establishing anything, just put it in the end zone with the pass for a touchdown. Well, yeah, I guess that's the definition of catching the defense off guard there. They weren't expecting that. And that totally goes against type, doesn't it? When you think first and goal from the one, you're thinking running play. Extra point by McCrane, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So that one, a long 11-play drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Following the touchdown, McCrane set to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. There's D.J. Moore as he and the rest of the offense head back out there. They might want to mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit, hasn't he? That he has, and even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball, he's still finding ways to get open, finding the right spots, and the delivery's been pretty good, too. He's over 100 yards, has the one touchdown score to this point. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one, despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. On first down, Hubbard. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. The last run got six, now second and four. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They'll run on first down. It's Hubbard. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and seven. They'll set up to throw. Hard throw, incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, and their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. They want to be methodical, or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, wide open receiver complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. 
Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Over the middle complete, that's Morgan. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Big gains in succession. Last one was over 20, this one over 30. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Michelle. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. And it's Michelle once again. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. On third down, it's Prescott. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. McCrane's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, <laughs> trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Back to throw now on second and 10. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep. Oh, wide open, complete. And he takes this one down almost all Let's the go. way Let's to go. the 30. On third and 10, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. The offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Get it. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case. That play got bottled up. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. The Panthers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This is third and nine. Juwan James, the right tackle, first round selection in 2014. He's the one that got flagged there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to look deep for more, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And last time, able to get three. 
It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And the first play in the drive there is incomplete. To throw once more on second and ten. Prescott, and he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. Watch the ship. Watch the Prescott from the gun. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. On second down, Prescott again. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now Prescott. And he's got it. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott as his guys are able to regain the lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. McCrane on for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. Following the touchdown, McCrane set to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Another throw on second down and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions and that has him staring at a third and ten. He'll drop to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Last stop. Last stop. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away this. from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Right 
It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. Give him two on that run, and they're still left looking at a third and about nine to go. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. On third down, they turn to Sanders, and they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27, no first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. Uses the spin. It'll be a net of 39. 41-yard punt, two on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. So now the Panthers down on the scoreboard a little under a minute 50 remaining now they're losing streak in danger of continuing as they come up on first down so first and 10 now from the 30 back to throw and that is incomplete took a shot there on first down but he couldn't reel it in ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10 he'll look to throw and he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Back to throw. From the left side, it's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. He's back to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They're going to look to throw. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts go, as they get it right Eight, at the 30 second mark of Watch this fourth tight, quarter. Watch tight. Tight is right. Four, two. Now back to throw. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Second and three. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? No. No, not at all. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down four late, got to go for it here on fourth down. So a jump there defensively. That's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Oh, no, he lost the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. A great come from behind victory in this one, Charles. And really the difference, obviously, was that fourth quarter. They dominated. And it has to start with 
believing that you can make that comeback because we've been in games before we've done games where you just look at one team and realize they have no chance of making it back not in the one we just saw here they did it and they did it well so for the Pats, it's an important win for their postseason hopes as they at least get back to four and five. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Carolina, it's another week, another loss as they fall now to 0-9. And, and they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.